So if you're a baseball fan like I am, and you can't wait until the competition begins again. I'm stalling, we, I'm stalling. Yes. Okay. Uh, and if you're a baseball fan like I am, you can go online to smashwords.com. It's book number 236872. 236872. Remember it like your old girlfriend's phone number. Ready? 236872. Smashwords.com. Thanks to our friend Hugh. Another uh, Upper West Side guy, right? I'm plugging you. You help me get him on Smash Words. There you go. Okay, so Baseball Karma and the Constitution Blues. It's about baseball, karma, and the Constitution Blues. Who in this room knows what the Constitution Blues are? Woo! We freaking know. Oh wait, it's okay. Only until we play in the World Series, it's okay. Okay, fine. All right. So baseball karma and the Constitution blues. What is what is baseball? Read something. Okay. Read it. Read something. Read it. Should I read this? Yes. Come on. Yes. I'll read this. I could read it. Woo! Woo! If I could find it. <laughs> if I could get some. I mean, find it. All right. Page ninety-six. Oh. Levi knows the page number. He's like, page 96. That's wrong, actually. <laughs> All right, here it is. It's actually page 71. 71. And uh, I don't know what it is in the electronic version. All right, ready? Here's the sex scene from my book, Mofo. And I never do this, okay? I never read sex scenes. I don't talk about things like this. Here we go. Doug's place. Doug is the guy on the team. Doug. From one of the guys who got traded, Maxie Tyner, who had married one of the Bells and taken her with him. I looked around. The condo was emptier than Bobby's, if that's possible. No light. Or rookie baseball light. Plush carpeting. No furniture. We opened a beer. Michelob. So, Doug rubbed my shoulders. We moved down to the rug in front of the fireplace and watched the flames jump. It had been kind of quiet since my outburst, but we tried to make the best of it. God, I feel so much better than I did earlier. I'm really sorry, Doug. Maybe it's PMS. Maybe. Or maybe it's PMS. It's a line in the fucking book. Maybe it's PMS! Woo! Maybe! Maybe it's PMS! Did you hear me? Fiatras, my third anniversary cohabitants here. Habitators, maybe it's PMS. It aggravated me that I felt I had to apologize. Everything I had said was true. Let alone that I found myself pleading that accepted wisdom. And I'm a girl. Duh. I had just gotten mad at Ritter for dissing my gender difference, and now, yet it could be PMS. The infernal calculation said, no, dummy, you're two weeks from your next period. Oh. It's your ovaries. Ah, shit. Heather just yelled, it. the psychotherapist just yelled, it's your ovaries. That's not your purview, girl. That's like medical doctor. Woo! Yeah, that was kind of rough. I'm glad you're feeling better now. Doug kissed me on the forehead. My third eye. I just added that. I've been thinking about this for a while. I took Doug's hand and turned, looking directly at him. I've decided it's you. He didn't exactly get it, I could see, so I, I lowered my chin and raised my eyebrows at him, playing my bashful version of sexy. Doug adored me and got it. And you're sure? I'm tired of waiting. I mean, what am I waiting for? Marriage, I thought. He, he just shook his head. No. And word, shut up. That would be nice, but I'm tired of waiting and considering the circumstances. I really want you. Doug leaned over and gave me his full mouth, full of intention. I'd been waiting a long time for this, so it really mattered his intention. His kisses were hard and fast inside pitches. He was still pitching, hoping I would not call time and step out of the batter's box. The hitter was getting warm with all the heat being thrown, kisses by the fire, and I did my top button, then his. His rawhide fingers worked down the row on my blouse. He knew I could get it hit. I just needed the right piece of lumber. Woo! Woo! Tongue swirled as we lay on the carpet, bare chest to bare breast. Flames leaped 
leaped in the heart like fans jumping up to get a better view. The pitcher removed his trousers and whispered to the batter, checking my stance. Are you ready? He asked. I could hear the crowd cheering. Let go, Mick, let go, clap, clap. Let go, Mick, let go. I guess so, I said. The pitcher throws wild to the backstop as he unzips my fly. On the mound, now off the mound. Here, hold this. I took his stiff stick in my hand. Curious how it could be so hard and yet so soft at the same time. <laughs> I rubbed it for luck. <laughs> and he's back on the mound. Two more balls thrown and it's a full count. Three, two. He adjusts my position at the plate and throws a high hard one up in my wheelhouse. I tried to take him deep, but a rookie I whiffed. Oh. He was out of gas. Game over. We lay there a minute. I love you, I said. I'll get a towel, said Doug. <laughs> he got up and left me lying there on the rug, oh. staring blankly up at the ceiling. Tears streamed down my eyes and rolled down my cheeks into my ears. He didn't love me. I had skipped Trisha's birthday for this. Hey, fuck yeah! shit out of here, okay? Thank you everybody for being here for my third anniversary. And it was Lee's birthday just a few days ago. And, sorry, and Lee is a Boston Red Sox fan.